are necessarily built for every game or built for our community all the time. So definitely try to like, you know, be understanding at times, you know, there, there's a lot of difficult hurdles to get through and, you know, definitely understanding Wi-Fi as one of them is good of them and also having good sportsmanship. Yeah, but let's get winner's final started. Skittles and Yurameshi. Yurameshi has not switched off MK the entire time he's been on stream. Like, I know he's played Snake because it's, it was recorded in the bracket that that's what he was playing. So... <laughs> he did it to just throw you off, C4. He, Only he you. He have. That might have been the long con from Yurameshi. Yeah. yeah, he's like, you know what? If I get to throw off Z5, your personal victory. <laughs> All right, well, nonetheless, no personal victory set aside here. Urameshi is looking for multiple jumps to just try to ease his way slowly into Skittles. I feel like he's treating this matchup very similarly how he's treated other ones, kind of understand the opponent's neutral, but also understand, like, okay, when can I finally have an opportunity to get in? How much damage am I going to do, you know? Especially against Gale, right? He was kind of conditioned to understand, like, okay, he's going to go for a lot of, like, out of, out of shield specials, and the minute that I, like, kind of beat him out, that's when I can get him. So far, I'm noticing the Skittles is doing most of an excellent job of just like making sure if Meta Knight does get it, he's gonna have to worry a little bit more. I mean, double back air, not enough to take the stock. Great parry, nice up air out of it too as well. Yeah, he's but kind of gonna put Skittles off him. I mean, that's just a great get off me tool. Now they're falling up air. Skittles continues to wreck the damage up on your Meshi. Yeah, your Meshi needs to find the stock. Like, it's gotta go. Finally, <laughs> I was gonna say like the shuttle loop out of shield is really good, but also as I mentioned earlier like young link If he does go for like a boomer, I'm sorry, uh fire arrow at like, close range. It's not the best thing for him He's gonna get taken out Nice he sets the bomb there at the ledge is a really good trap That's letting or she knows if he does come closer He has to worry about either picking up the bomb facing the bomb or Skittleson punishing for going in towards the bomb as well. He's treating his ledge plays very, very well. Almost gets a nice, I was gonna say, that's a solid conversion. Yeah, there's a double fire arrow. Getting clipped by the up air, or the boomerang, unfortunately, up air is not connecting. Yeah. Even then, that was really good they had the boomerang out there because if Urameshi didn't let go of shield, the boomerang was gonna give a little bit of shield stamina enough for Skittles to slowly close the gap. Through that shield pressure coming from Skittles. And it's just going to extend his lead that much further. Now, Yurameshi has not full stock that he has to work up. Yeah. The one thing that Skittles is really skilled of doing is making sure that when Yurameshi holds shield, he holds shield enough or long for him, that he can get a combo off of it. I would definitely say if I were Skittles, like, the pressure that he does is just enough to, like, put Urameshi a little bit more scared of being a shield like there that situation like he let go because he knows I can either get grabbed or he might try to go for a shield poke or have enough projectiles where I do get shield poke oh getting a oh. single up air trying to get the, the shuttle loop conversion just doesn't find it oh no that was so was smart. Say, that was, that was, that that was, was a good try from Yurameshi, though. Yeah. Even then from Skittles, he had to be a little bit scared, though, because I thought he was going to lose it, but... Link's up special doesn't have enough jump height. Wow! Fortunate. He got hit with a first... They... Um, ugh. I'm going to need a replay on that, because I blinked and I actually missed it. Like they both oh. clipped each other, and Skittles just kept going, and your message fell. Yep. Well, 
as we, as we said, the saying goes, man. We take those. Skittles goes up 1 0 against Urameshi. If there's no character switch here, I'm definitely might see a character switch in the cards the next match. I do see Meta Knight being a problem for Young Link in terms of like being able to ladder him, but the problem is Meta Knight's ability to approach Young Link may be the one thing that's really tough, right? You're like you have to face Boomerang, you have to face Bomb, but the one thing that Young Link has over regular Link, where regular Link might struggle in this matchup, is the speed to actually go along with it. Like he's fast for a reason. It's true, but really, Hiromeshi's able to keep the pressure at the ledge. It's gonna be Skittles' downfall. Yeah. Okay, Nair out of shield. Look at that, we have a rever reverse situation. Nice, go with the beer goes uh, fire arrow. Kind of slowly bringing things out to a little bit of a mix. Back air, that's going to put him off the stage. I like the fact that Skittles goes for the bomb, but unfortunately he forced himself into a low recovery. Going for the bomb pull, and that allowed Urameshi to just snipe that out. That was good stuff from Skittles, because like he pulled the bomb, went a little bit low, because he knows the bomb can help him out. But the minute that Urameshi saw that, he just took care of it. Yeah, a little bit of a change up from Skittles game one. Do you see that? Yeah. He threw up a bomb, threw a boomerang, and it was spaced out so that the, the bomb would uh would hit the ledge as soon as your message like if the vulnerability fell off yeah and he set up the bomb there at the on the stage because if her meshi would have gone for any kind of sort of get up aside from i believe roll he would have met, been met with the bomb or a forward air so it was kind of a meshi's choice of kind of pick his poison okay more fire arrows trying to get the version but a downer is going to interrupt okay yeah it's really good on Skittles to like kind of understand like okay the fire arrow will pop my opponent up at this situation at this percent. Up air will clean it. No pun intended. This does separate the young Link mains from the, I would say older Link mains of what terms of skill they can get stocks at higher percents. Okay, retreating back, throwing a couple of projectiles out, but your mesh is still able to connect something. Is he down throw? We're going for those combos. Reverse bear. Nothing connects. Nice. I did like that from Skittles, though. He tried to put a little neutral air just in case because Ura Meshi might have been caught by it. Yeah, we oh. see the trade, but really all it does is reset uh, Skittles for Ura Meshi to be trapped. Back air? Yep. Yep, scooping him up. I was gonna say he might go for like a simple fire arrow play at that situation. Good stuff though, like the way we, like I said, been seeing Skittles is when he does have bombs on the stage. Wow, this would have been big, but he missed the forward air. Sometimes you usually see a young Link will go for up special the way that connects, but he kind of understood like okay, forward air might have been the best call I had at the moment, but he doesn't even get that one in the situation. Yeah, I think it was really just great DI from Yurameshi. He's just pulling back because. Uh, Skittles just continued to approach with the fire arrows, and after the third one connected, uh, your mesh was pushing forward or any direction besides out. Probably would have gotten scooped up and died. There we go, more rapid jabs at the ledge, but the bomb's actually going to save Skittles. Yeah, he went for a shield get up, knowing that the bomb would have helped him come back. And even if he doesn't, even if he does come back on the stage with the bomb in the hand, like, there are a lot of, like we saw earlier, there's a lot of things that you can do with bomb in hand. That's right. Once again, bomb is in hand and a quick nair. It's going to even up the stocks. We go Yurameshi retreating to those platforms using B reversals to make it very difficult to tell where he's going to land. Always continues to have a projectile out. Back throw. Or Yurameshi looking for a possible back air or something of a shuttle loop. Skittles looking for plays here. I do like the quick opportunity to go for the forward air. Bomb toss, but the bounce is not going to come back down to try to free him up. All right, Nair. Oh, at the you right. Your Meshi has Skittles off stage. I like that. Retreat, get out of that, because guess what? That's actually what cost you game one. Yeah, that is that very exact true. situation. <laughs> nice. He dipped a little bit low, had the bomb in hand, so if he dipped a little way, way too low, he would have come back. Whoa, whoa. That's actually the stock. That's the stock. Both Young Link and Link's up special have... 
an unforeseen amount of knockback that can actually take away stocks like that. That's all we saw the fire arrow combo almost kill Urameshi even in DIOA. That's crazy. Skittles able to clutch out game two. I mean, this time it wasn't even your Meshi, like some type of shenanigans or that just kind of occurred and then your Meshi lost the game. That was straight miss spacing from your Meshi, called yeah. out with a shuttle loop, and Skittles got it down tilt into up B, carried him as close as he could to the blast zone. Look, man, if I were anybody, I would be looking just like Mr. Resetti as we see on the screen, man. I would be as mad as Rossetti himself. But you gotta respect Young Link, man. It's one of those things that the character has is his ability to not only combo you, but the up special being a part of the character's toolkit as like being able to not only recover, kill, scoop up your opponent if they're unaware. There's a lot that they can do with it. But Skittles is up 2 0 against Urameshi. We'll see who gets the ticket to Grand Finals, winner side at least. That's true. I mean, we could very well see both these players in grand finals but only one person is gonna have a w next to their name yeah without dropping the set up air yep that's kind of one of those things i think Yurameshi has to start realizing early game is yeah, that is a combo at early percents and if you just try to over overly approach skittles that way he will be met by that combo it's true skittles has conversions on on deck like so yeah. many times we've just seen bomb boomerang a fire arrow into like dash attack or nair up air and it's just completely wrecks the damages. They all close out stocks. Yeah, Young Link is just keep on giving. Yeah, Young Link is one of the characters that I could definitely say, like, even though he lacks, like I said, raw knockback at times, his ability to just have a great combo game, great speed, is kind of what makes him, I would say, a lot, a little bit better than Link in a, in a couple of areas. I mean, that's all we see such players as Toast do really, really well with the character. I know he did really well at Frostbite, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he did. Okay, here we go. Like Skittles still continues to play underneath these platforms or stays in the center stage, really trying to utilize one conversion, especially with a hundred and eighteen percent. Yeah, and Urameshi respects that. I like the fact that he's kind of calm now. He's like, okay, I got one eight. I gotta be parry something. I gotta catch Skittles on the slip because I'm gonna be losing the stock if I'm not cautious. Oh, I don't know what that was, but maybe that was just a good bait coming from Urameshi. That rapid jab didn't get punished with an up air, which. I don't know. I, I think that was a pretty good option, but in fact, Skittles went for a down air instead. Now Skittles finds himself off stage. Directional air dodge used. Oh, oh. just whiffing the back air. Up air? No forward air instead. Nice way. Skittles with the lead here, 50%. I think for Urameshi here, he's gonna, he's gonna kind of like slowly kind of calm himself down a little bit because he's taking a lot of percent for overly approaching and what he did earlier was trying to catch skittles on a little bit of a slip up that was much better for him finally gets a grab here forward smash even though he doesn't hit skittles the fact that it has low cooldown he has enough time to go for an opportunity so that it does understand him that allows him to understand if skittles does dodge that i had enough time for a back air Shadow loop but retreating to the ledge very smart resetting his uh invulnerability getting his resources back and Skittles not able to punish the up B. Right, turn around shield, but that's gonna get hit by Skittles' Nair. We see the Z drop, and that's gonna Ooh. stop the shuttle. Loop. You see that dimensional kick? Yeah. That was <laughs> <laughs> so strong from Mirror Mesh. You're able to close out that stock, but now still, I mean, almost down a full complete stock still, 112%. We know just how many tools Skittles has to take a stock. Yeah, and definitely seeing one of those tools as a trap game at the ledge with Bomb is the one that we saw him play here. Like I mentioned, it's just Young Link having a lot of tools like Bomb, and those setups that Skittles does have over Urameshi with Bomb work out really, really well to the point that I kind of wish we saw them more, which would kind of condition Urameshi to stop going for dash attacks or overly approaching. I'm actually surprised that F Smash connected <laughs> from Meta Knight. Like, a part of me was like, I don't know, it still might be too far away, but still good pickup from Urameshi, able to clip with the back air. And now we have an even game three, pretty much. Yeah, 58%. It's up to Urameshi to see what he can do with a little bit of time. He has three minutes on the clock here. Yeah, full hop down air. Seen that quite a bit from Skittles. Urameshi very keen to it now. 
if he can, I mean, Urameshi knows if I can get a ladder started, it may not be the stock, but it will be enough percent to kind of slowly bring things more towards my end. But Skittles, like using the projectiles that he's using right now, is doing a really good job of like letting Urameshi know, okay, if you want to jump here, there's a boomerang there. If you want to walk here, there's a bomb there. If you want to stay there, there's a fire arrow there. That's true. Look at this defensive, this patience coming from Urameshi. He took his time with his approach. Nice parry. Air doesn't, doesn't get punished though. And he parried it. He parried it. He, that that could have been a punishment. Okay, rapid jab on the shield. That could be a back throw. That's right. Your messy again finds himself off stage. These bombs at the ledge are so pesky. Yeah. He not only covered Urameshi if he rolled get up. He covered Urameshi if he did any other sort of get up. He may not have died, but he was gonna definitely take damage for sure. Up smash out of the shield is enough to catch Urameshi going for that play. That's right. That's going to be a 3-0 for Skittles. Skittle.